Good morning. <coughs> it's good to be here. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day, Bobby Diehard. Good morning, Ghana. Andrew, a very great morning. Sawaya, <coughs> where you were? Hey, Malengi done by Evolve as Vazuk said that they were gracious. Good morning. One hour since it occurred, it is a no kundaba. A very great morning. Now, Kenya Dora, good morning. It's great to be here again. And um, personally, I don't take it for granted. <coughs> I don't know, I don't. But I think it's another chance for me to share um, the little nuggets of life that I follow. Patrick Mangusha, good morning. Njagalokusi mako nyogu wazukusa machagalero. Noga matogenda kwebaka. But, nozukuka noga mogenda kubako guengo mundu chewe kolida. Today is the thirtieth of um, today is the thirtieth of uh, August, twenty twenty-three. We just have one day to get done with the year. Sunday, year week here, no, Ngasatu. Yes, that is third. Ngasatu. That's when I'm going to be at Kochi Kochi Hotel. It's called Kochi Hotel. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's that, that's the word. The to get to get it up with by Terry Bone rebathing. Never did the move to get connected to one and uh, I just got so much of a good message called the leftovers, and I just can't wait. So I'm again to go to Sunday. Um, while you coach hotel. I think it will be an honor to to meet any one of you. Just as we're revamping, we're going into the um, the very last days of this month. And today, given that it's a Mental Health Wednesday, um, <clears throat> I want to direct it that way. John Sentonga, Barikwanga Koli, Jackie Rama, Nantumbwe, Sylvia Duffin. Good morning. And um Lero Manyint Fenat Kola Gananaba and Travazu Mugulam in life. Yesterday I ran after <coughs> a government official who knocked um border guy two border guys and ran away and these are difficult people to deal with. And I strongly believe uh, in the context of understanding today's conversation, I think I should share that. Listen, I don't care how strong you are, how connected you are, or how powerful you are. <clears throat> you can abuse the law today because <laughs> but one day you'll have to pay for that. I've seen it. You'll have to pay for that. And this is what I told this gentleman when we were having an altercation yesterday. Namgambi, you'll have to pay for that someday. You know, when you abuse or we use a body now, Rokwango Tambula Nemundu, Rokwanga Mamburi Moyenza, that won't last. That will never last. I've seen men who are here during Abote's time, Abote and Amin's time. <clears throat> they were unruly, but they regret it today. 
For some reason, in a chinching and Zenzikirizam Buram Abantu Abakole been to in excesses because of power. Binding a jiba to Kensi Nebavako Bawenga, you know, like Balaluka, they go cuckoos. I, I, I don't know how best to express it, but you have to pay for that. So for now, you can do all the mess you want to do, and um, <clears throat> I'm speaking this without fear or favor. Musoboro kuvuma abantu musoboro ba iso we kubanga mu ino we inza mu ine mundo and all. But time will come and you'll have to pay for it. And I'll be very honest with you. For those I've interacted with about the government, in our world government, time will come and we'll get the rule of law in this country. Mm. You see, Mamu is a chitwarange chokubalate, but this is only happening because maybe the president is still more 70, but time will come and you'll be answerable to that. He can be lenient, he can be, but time will come and you'll pay for it. So don't abuse the power you have, don't abuse the authority you're given because you're a public servant, you work with a gun and you have to pay back. I don't know how. At least So don't abuse power. So today I'm going to share with you <coughs> four ways to deal with difficult people in life. Four ways to deal with difficult people in life. To deal <clears throat> and I'm going to start with relationships. So relationships with emotionally immature people. Also, we have a relationship with an emotionally immature person. Just a minute. I'm back. <clears throat> so. You can be in relationship with um, emotionally immature people. Abantu abatakula emotionally, and I shared this, I think, um, earlier last year, or this year, when I was still on radio, sometime before April. I shared with you <clears throat> on how best you can know that someone is emotionally immature. Omuntu atakula mumpurida. So when you're dealing with those people, people who are highly opinionated, ngayaro zendo waza ye 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 nkomerede siwe to wedi no jira ba we Ghana afe. Whoever doesn't believe in that opinion, so we end up with arguments. Na ba ndoa fana na we bacho, and we get stuck in what we call the circular conversations. Emotionally, so and it's potent when Now <coughs> One, you limit on what you engage in. That's the first thing. If you're an adult, who is wise? Um, <laughs> yesterday we had a meeting with my business partner. I was talking about investor. Investor Nagamba, most Ugandans are rich fools. What was the first Ngakuma kedi ndi tebajia kujia jitu wala Oba kujia ingira whatever the case was That was a rich fool You just hire police, no bagamba police, court injunction You know, but not wainna kola chinocho na You deploy police in Israel Because you have the money, you have the resources And you have the motive to protect your property Ine ya sura wawo mumpewe mpewe ne mkubo kakana afunye zaata Kana kutukirao, rich fool now, when you're a wise adult, one, you limit on what you engage in. <coughs> what does this mean? 
Ebi intu biyo wenye gida mo bikendeza. You're not everywhere. Where do I find you? If I ask you a question, if I want to find you, where do I find you? So for me, you'll find me in three places. You'll find me at work. That is at NTV. You'll find me at a symposium or a summit or a conference. Moderating. Or you'll find me on a wedding when I'm emceeing a wedding. Beyond that, <clears throat> I wish you luck. Why? I limit on what I engage in. I make sure that I limit So, echo chechimu kubi ndu ebi chasi nzo kubi ebi kuru enyu. That is the first one. Limit what you engage in. Second, learn to know the conversation frames. Waro yambu zanti frame chitege zaachi. Buru wubo nyo ya no mtu. Or in a frame, Moyo Gedera na ye. I'm going to teach you something here, just briefly. Find um... <clears throat> Okay, let me use this. Um, Kano Kava Novana, Masomi. So I'm going to I'm going to use this just to explain something called a flight envelope pilot here nabo abavu genyonyi nadala bavuga chopa bazivugira mu kibaita flight envelope ndi asoboro kweto rolera wano wonna 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 neta sobola kususa nsonde eno tasoboka kususa nsonde eno tasoboka kususa nsonde eno tasoboka na kususa nsonde eno that's a flight envelope Wanu wana wana sukuru kutambula wana yeta suka envelope weyo Mwabira tambula for safety <clears throat> Now what am I trying to say? You as a person Frame ye mbozi zo ye ingira moteko kumira na yoga pilot But in a flight envelope yawe That is their frame of what they do But wobo nyumi anga no mtu Beda ni frame ye mbozi Webu ze wuzo gina wamanga Why am I having this conversation? Today, why am I having it today? What is the return on investment of this conversation? Ebi ebi into bisatu bikuru. Tomara ga yingira ngambo zinde ah, nenda tani kida wo no. Have a frame of the conversation because wo vera ne frame ya conversation o mani mbo zizi tadi na lugendo. That won't lead to anywhere. Mbo zidi ya wya ruari ruari. Then stay regulated. Grounded and calm. Regulated, grounded, and calm. Sigala ngori mukakam. Ngori mugundi ivo. Echidala. Sigala ngori soro kola decisions. Is it irrational? Regulated, grounded, and calm. That's very crucial. Icho kuna yego o kutoa robo vuna nizvona how you interact. That is a wise adult. Orange. Oba bali emotionally immature. Oba bali highly opinionated. Bali na ene iseno amanga. Tukomeo Badja kuwa Chewa ita unsolicited advice That's how you know someone is emotionally Immature anga Tayakura kurunji emotionally I know where you are stunting Wata ita Now when you have such people One thing they do is that They will give you unsolicited advice Zendoze yu andi bifudeko They will try to force their opinion on you Nzengedi jie mpulabamu. Nobu sobo zivodi na libya wa soma. Ndabanga yu no no hude. They are first to give you that. They will create situations where you don't feel safe. 
kati ogenda kuva wano ogende eri wano baddo okute wano twadde tani sokutegera ba customer bafunye bulunji ogenda kudda mabega they will try to create a safe situation for you that you don't make a next move or a bigger move then they are very insensitive on how you feel they will kwa tako they will kwa tako how you feel they they just want their opinion to be heard and respected ekirala abantu banu bayina chibaita tense and dramatic interactions bulo bo yagano muntu omuzibu ye muntu ali emotional ali machua they are tense and dramatic dramatic chitegeza and bayina katemba munji bamba musowanganye agenda kuogerera wagulu era eh era era now that drama they are emotionally immature Tense and dramatic you stay regulated calm and grounded gwengo omuntu omukuru ategera now how to deal with difficult people in our lives the first thing is <coughs> we are back thank you it is okay Kenja kale otegere nti sigwe musomesa wabo. You're not their teacher. Stop. Stop being their teacher. It might be very tempting, but you're not there to teach another adult. Gwetori wa okusomesa muntu mukuru. Ono muntu mukuru chakola akitegera your role is to place limits or boundaries. Echo njagalo che igirize. Learn to create boundaries. When you're dealing with difficult people, stop being their teacher. Omuntu mzivu, you cannot change a human being, especially when the brain is fully constituted. Obwongo bwafe, neurologist batusome santi obwongo kubera fully constituted omuntu kubanga obwongo ebukuze. Kasto ize miyaka 2 mu 5. Awo kudda wagulu, obwoge na kubera tolerant oba ogena bera considerate. Now The first thing you're going to do with a very immature and difficult people stop being their teacher. Eh, chigenda kwangwira nyo, rambu genda kwangwira nyo when you stop being a teacher to them. How do you do it? You look at what they do and you tell them does that give you peace? Yes, fine. To chiza ko nyo mukono. This is how we manage difficult people. Zulanti yatomera. Echo kubiri, igo ko esa chibaita neutral statements. Nti wajana kuwa opinion. <coughs> Natandise waguru wali nga nkulaga a wise adult. Bia sobolo kuogera oboko behavior third world country problems. <coughs> Tujaita wompola. Mbade nkugamba. Nti botunulira yebi aba ataddewo nga ali no opinion za lete za man <coughs> yego koze sa neutral statements kwagamba ebigambo ebitaku ebitakula gantu ochiwagira obo ya against words like i will look into it kanchiro wozeko katulabe you neutral tomwagira teto ya against him oha for one or two reasons sigenda kuyamba ku managing omuntu ono buli wo yagala okuleta pushback ogane ndo woza oboli awo obenga ajivuganya in the mind and doing they are going to get tense we chokula bila koso that ochitegera bulunji <coughs> when you are when you are discussing Obango kayana no muntu ali emotionally immature bogirira waguru pichi yabo evebera waguru you will understand that or is pichi yabo evebera waguru they are intense they are dramatic 
Hawa lai dramatic Bata andika no kuhita abalala Mujie Frank achivumbi mujie mulirono biya yogera hane Always want to blow it out for pro proportion Chivulide mu noise Often times these people are immature Emotionally Na yumba muli kumuli mungo ino mkozi muno gwe mtakanyi zana yene henga yogera So that's how you learn you learn to deal with such people and please note <clears throat> whenever you're working with such people get to know that they're emotionally immature and it's very okay to have a different worldview it's very fine very very fine problem is how you manage them you just don't have to make any noise you you, be, you, you stay grounded and calm my point is now if you realize the person is blocked because they're emotionally immature they believe they're right they have a blind spot of the opinion we, we have these people by the way we have married them, we work with them, they are our partners, we do business with them. Every one of us has them around us. But how you manage them? Those few key nuggets of life. It's crucial. Echidara, <clears throat> sharing your ideas or thoughts. The reason why you share your ideas or thoughts, at times you just want opinions or how you can do them better. Because they're going to break you. And those who are coming on Sunday, when I was prepping, there is something I got to know. It's, it's called the Hope Incubation. I will explain it on Sunday to those who are coming to Kochi Hotel. Hotel. <laughs> okay, we are back. Not everyone in your family, in your space, must have access to the information of what you're doing next. Not everyone. Not the same. And why not for information in Muchigero? In moderations. In moderations. So when you're dealing with people who are difficult to run with, who are difficult to manage, who are difficult to work, to work and partner with, be careful on the ideas you're sharing because most of the times they're going to hit you down. Because to them, you don't matter. They matter more. So, Boba Leve Yawa Guruko. Echokuna, I want you to start to practice what they call conversation steering. Mm hmm. Nti, webali etembozi, or when they bring conversations that are very sensitive, and you're going to go into circle. Boba gala nyokwe toroza, aha, and when this happened, then this, they're taking you in circles. The best way to do this. Ask them something. Remember, Babuze Chibuza about that particular conversation, but in their own lives or views. That I'm going to ask you a question that, Natasha, what would be your thought if such a thing happened to you? So you flip the narrative into Bobalito opinion in that breath. Now you're steering the conversation. And because you're in charge of the conversation, you're in charge of when you stop the conversation. That will help you so much. I'll give you an example. Ntimamo wabaku opinion on how you should deal with something. Obabio itamu kumurimu. Ebiku somoza. You steer the conversation. No gama mama, echo siga ni chigenda maso kumurimu eyo. Na chin somoza no kun somoza. Nemu abantu wabati muamua kura gana. You throw it to her. 
then she would get in the cloud of explaining her worldview. Guess what? You've managed her. How we deal with difficult people. It's an everyday thing we're dealing with. Bino, bitamble na ba antu butu bera na bo baganda ba fear offsprings. Buri kaseira. But I can statement is gamba you are this, you are that. But I can kubu zaku finances zo. Obakati go kola chigo bram kato bili mu bukola chi. Nze siku tegeira. So if you're one of those who is going through middle life crisis. And I explain a middle life crisis briefly. You feel people have achieved a lot than you. Your friends are getting married. Your friends are building homes. Your friends are building businesses. They have gone back to school and you still just stuck with a certificate, with a diploma, with a, a bachelor's. And oftentimes you start to panic. Now when you get in that mode of panicking, it's a middle life crisis. You're going to deal with difficult people. While you're in that kind of wave, stay grounded. That is one. Sigalangori grounded. And secondly, stay calm. Have clarity on what you're going to do. Nsigala nkujukiza, guampuliriza this early morning. That while a lot is going on around the world, tugenda kula gana naba antu wataliba angu. Naba antu... Tugenda kula gana naba antu... Abatagaliza. We have them, quite a lot of them. But one thing I know is that everything we do has a bearing on us. Gwenga gwengo mundu. Zaga. So, saga la kudda wa nonta andike kusudi ya nkugame nti oli wakabi. Um, you can always deal off with people. You can always dealing with them. The biggest thing why you cannot deal with difficult people. You don't have boundaries. Learn to draw boundaries. Abandwabe kwe bakoma. People should have limits. This is the breaking point. This is the deal breaker. When you do this, I'm done. I'm gone. Bye. Those are things you need to look out for. So my little Zanko Gamba went. It's already coming to 40. <clears throat> you could be a difficult person. And you're watching this. It is only fair for you to start to find out models. That online quesiri. My name is Internet. I'm going to go YouTube. How do I fix it? How do I fix my emotional immaturity? Or we take him by Jakula models on how you start to fix yourself. Life is entirely about you. If you don't fix yourself, no one is going to fix you. Take it. So, you have to learn something new every day. Every day, where someone's at least read one page of every book. At least one page. One page. Not a whole book. One page. Back at Chimucho again, you get online at least every day. We come in your Kumanya no together. Be the person that craves for information and you actually run with it. And when you get the information, use it to change your life and share that information with more friends. Jagalokova is everyone here who has shared this feed on your timeline or in your WhatsApp group. I appreciate you because sharing is caring. That's how big and that's how remarkable we are as human beings. So, Sunday, Ngasatu, Nenda Kubeira Ku Kochi Hotel. I'm invited as a keynote speaker. I'm going to speak to um, young people for young people. That's the organization. 3rd September, to Nenda Kubeira Ku And the theme is Hope Reborn. That's where we're going to be um, on Sunday. It's starting at 2 p.m. And then we shall have the conversation. Today is the 30th. Tomorrow is the 31st. I want us to take these two days, just these two days, eh? we reflect on our life. 
Are we really achieving or we are just busy? It's only God to tell us. Are we adding value to ourselves or we are wasting time? Are we busy or are we productive? Bia Jaulo, so look where I busy because I said to go this month, busy and busy and busy. Nanga to talk of government. Now, this is productivity measurement. I want us to take these two days again to check how much money have we saved this month, how much money have we spent, how much money have we invested. There is a research that was released yesterday by Financial Sector Deepening. I'm going to share a few nuggets of that research, I think, tomorrow. So help me God. Research eno, e kula gengeri abantu ba wansi getu sasanya musend. Na wichie vitule meseza ukuba kwe tutuka. It is these conversations that shape what we know and what we see. And I want to challenge you, just, just take these two days, today and tomorrow. This is my humble request. Today and tomorrow. Take a minute and ask yourself, am I progressing or am I stuck? And why am I stuck? If I'm progressing, teach and choose is everything we want to change starts with our behaviors it starts with our behaviors dealing with the difficult people informs our behaviors too name good joke is a blood you're not jolly wherever you are no one is coming understand no one is coming tell you ja but it's into chocolate when go moon Life is about you. No one is coming. So I don't care where you are. You could be saying that I wanted to do this business, but I'm a little bit scared. Timid fear of the unknown is part of life. But you have to do it anyway. So again, the mama so kolecho. If you're dependent on your brothers, your sisters, your church, your mosque, your relatives to come and bail you out, you'll be shocked. No one is coming. Back up and when I go together this conversation, that every morning, <clears throat> 5 to 5.40, we we'll reserve these conversations. Just remind ourselves why are we doing what we are doing and evolving. There is something I will share this with the girls. The, the layers we go through when we are married. That the person you married when she's 25, when she's 35, she thinks and acts differently. And the same applies to you who is already in the 40 because now you're trying to find a merger. So do something about yourself. Bako chokola. Nzea nduchi amagero. Nkukiririza munyo. 